Hey, Virgo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for March 24, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, sweeties. Coming with the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Empress energy. <sighs> All right, Virgo. So it looks like there's a lot of people here, but at the end of the day, it's time for... It looks like you guys have been more so just... Hugging yourselves, like hugging your energy, hugging yourselves, more being a little bit more greedier with how you're going to be giving people your energy. With the Four of Pentacles, you guys have gone through so much pain, through so much sadness that it's making you guys become very annoyed and very agitated with a lot of people around you guys. You're like absolutely sad, you're hurt, like you have, you're very irritated, you're going to be cutting anybody off that comes into your energy who doesn't make you guys feel good. A lot of you guys could be hurt from a Sagittarius, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Virgo, a Gemini. Um, and also an Aquarius here as well, but nonetheless, it's like you're now, it's like you're, now you're now it's time for you guys to start pouring into your own energy, start pouring into your own cup with the Four of Pentacles to the Temperance card to the Queen of Swords. And you're not going to have no problem cutting anybody off. It doesn't make sense for you guys to be giving yourselves to people who don't have any respect for you guys at all, right? Which causes you guys so much sadness, so much heartache. You guys feel like you guys have given so much people. So much of your time, so much of your energy, always there helping people at the same time. If you guys are going through sadness, depression, or anything like that, I do believe that you guys should have people around you at this time to kind of like support you, to be there for you, to get the help that you guys honestly need. You guys don't want to be sitting in that negative energy for too long. Otherwise, it's going to be very easy for entities to attach to you. So you need to jump out of that quickly, jump out of that energy quickly so you can be the best version of yourself. Uh, nonetheless, Virgos, you know, a lot of you guys may have been in a relationship with it, with this person and you guys just simply feel like this person didn't take anything into consideration when it came to how you feel and you guys gave to this person so much, but you know, they are, they totally took advantage of that. And when this, when you guys decided to finally, so you guys are going to end up jumping out of that three of swords to the five of cups. And you guys are going to be jumping into the Empress energy. You know, be careful pe from people. Like, you have to watch your back. It says, watch you watch your back. There could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Watch your back from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The Empress, just because you're very loving and you may seem like you're vulnerable, naive. Like, you don't, don't let people underestimate you either, right? And at the end of the day, it says, watch your back from people who act like they are very cute and very humble. But watch your back from them. Like, be... Be a man of your word. Be a woman of your word. If you say you're going to do something, fucking do it. Don't fucking do something. That, don't do the opposite of what you're trying. Of what, Anyways, whatever the case is, whatever this energy is for the seven of swords, nine of swords, that's what's going to fall back on them. And that's not what's going to be falling back on you guys. You know, people are sitting there disguising themselves to be this loving, supporting type of person, but in turn, they are nothing but a fucking snake, seven of swords. Watch your back from people who have no good intentions for you guys. Make sure you guys step into your power, know yourselves, know who you are, you know, let, let people know who you are. It's not, it's not hard for, it, sh it should not be hard for you to be, say, like, just, broop, the fuck, hello, I'm here, bitch, the fuck you mean? Like, let people know. When you step into a room, be like, yes, I'm here. Let people see who you are. Let people recognize who you are. Let them see, let them feel your presence. Don't be worried about people and how they think about you or whatever. It's That's their business. You do a you dat thing, all right? Oh, my God. Um... A lot of you guys are making the decision to kind of make a move. But at the end of the day, a lot of you guys have decided to leave one job and go to another job. It's saying that, yes, that's going to end up happening. Where the money's going to be start looking a lot more better for you guys with the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. And then things, it's like things are just not as stable as you were hoping for it to do be. But the money is there. The opportunity is there as well. You guys have sacrificed so much of yourselves and give to, to, give to people left, right, and center, right? But... Something quick is there's a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's gonna come running back to you guys as well, uh Virgos. They're gonna want to come back and they're gonna want to work on the relationship. They're trying to figure out what kind of proposal they want to bring towards you guys, but they want to be quick about it at the same time. It's like things are at a standstill. The standstill would be that 
even if this person was to come back for you guys, are you guys still going to jump up for this person after what they've done to hurt you and, and to break your heart? So if you guys are not even talking to this person at the moment, but they obviously want to come back and talk towards you guys as well, right? A lot of you guys might have been dealing with also an Aquarius, uh, sorry, a Pisces and also a Capricorn here. At the end of the day, this person is very much so obsessing over you. They're, they cannot let go of the past for whatever reason. And, you know, it's it's like it's stinging their consciousness in a way that they have to come running back towards you guys in order to make their relationship right between the two of you guys. So because this person is obsessing over you, they're thinking about the past, they're nostalgic, they're reminiscing, they're looking at your photos. They feel like they have to just quickly come back towards you guys and then and communicate with you. They need to talk to you, right? And a lot of you guys are picking up on this person's energy. Like you guys can probably sense and feel that this person wants to come in and communicate. So they are coming. You guys are going to be reuniting with each other. You guys are going to be seeing each other face to face. And when that happens, this person is going to be speaking to you. They're going to want to find ways to make this connection work. They're not going to let this go. It's the magician card to the page of swords. They're going to communicate with you. They're going to tell you how they really feel. And they're going to tell you that they want to make the connection work. But a lot of you guys are just like, you've already been there and done that with the five of pentacles. So you're like on the fence about it, obviously, because of the fact that you guys have gone through so much bullshit with the moon card. A lot of you guys are just going to throw it away with the four of cups. Some of you guys will. Some of you guys are going to listen to what this person has to say. But then again, it's like you don't have the time to be disappointed anymore. Like you're 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 really disappointed. It's like, how come things are not going ever going my way? How come I always meet people who don't have who are not good? How come I always give and they don't you know, sometimes the lesson in life is when are you going to stop being good to those who are not good to you? But, you know, depending on who you are and how your heart works, it's like, no, you're going to, a lot of people who have good hearts are like, no, I'm going to help out. If the people ask me for help, I'm, I'm still going to help them no matter what. Because in the end, at least that way you guys know, you know, you did a good deed. And if they don't do good, then that's their karma, right? But then other people are like, no, fuck you and fuck your shit. I don't want to help you and I'm moving on. It's like, boom, everybody has two perspectives of certain situations. And neither one of them is wrong. You do what you feel is right. So you guys are going to take this chance with the Fool card. And you guys are going to be thinking about how you guys are going to make the connection work with the Seven of Pentacles to the Star card as well. A lot of you guys are like, you know what, I can give it I can give it a chance. But then it's at the same time that you do want to think about it or they want to think about it. Aries, Aquarius, Energy. At the end of the day, this one's coming back for you guys. They want to be with you and they want to come back for you. They got love for you. They're walking to the moon because that's who you are. You guys are simply the moon. They want, they're walking to the moon because you're the moon. So this person's saying, no, you know what, I love my Virgos very much. So if you guys got water in your charts and uh, simply that this person has, they're going to express to you that they that they have a lot of love for you, that they want to talk to you, they want to be with you, and you guys are just on the other side of the moon. So this is going to be around the full moon energy of, of, of this is going to be around the full moon energy. So once the full moon is done, they're going to be coming back for you guys, and they're going to express to you how they really feel about you. They want to talk to you as well, right? And then things are, and then you're like in the four of swords. So a lot of you guys might be just resting, retreating, doing your own thing, and then, now you guys are feeling better about yourselves as well with the Queen of Wands. Yes, you're very loving.